Welcome, Welcome everyone, everyone to our Eucharistic, Eucharistic celebration, celebration of the of Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Jesus Mary, and Joseph. And Joseph. At our respect for the liturgy, liturgy and those, those around you, you please, please silence your phones at this time. time. We continue to honor the COVID-19 guidelines outlined by the Archdiocese of San Antonio in regards to mass and other liturgical celebrations in response to recommendations for the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. We ask that you pay close attention to the directions from our ushers as they will be your guides throughout the Mass, during Communion, and at the end of Mass. Thank you for your patience and assistance. And please stand as we begin our celebration. The Holy Family shows us how to love, respect, and trust in God. So we, so we sing, sing our, our opening, opening hymn, hymn as, as on the hymn board. Verse 4. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Father. My brothers and sisters, we are in the octave. The octave is eight days after Christmas, the day of our Lord Jesus Christ's birth. And we still celebrate the Christmas season, so we still are saying Merry Christmas, playing Christmas songs, has the manger, nativity scene out, and, and we, we do, do this, this until, until liturgical season ends, ends which is the baptism, baptism of the Lord. Lord. So we so still we have, have another, another two weeks full of Christmas, Christmas uh, celebration. Uh, celebration. Amen? Amen? And today we celebrate the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. The Holy Family to represent and model for us how our families are supposed to live as well. So my brothers and sisters, as, As we, we gather, gather together, together to prepare to, prepare to celebrate, celebrate this mystery of God's love, love let, us let us call to mind our own failures, failures asking our Lord for peace and pardon. pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, God, who are who pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously granted we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house delight one day in eternal rewards through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The first reading is a reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah conceived and at the end of her term bore a son whom she she called called Samuel, Samuel, since she she had had asked the Lord Lord for him. him. The next next time her husband, husband, Elkanah, Elkanah, was going going up with the rest of the household household to offer the customary sacrifice to the Lord and fulfill his vows, vows, Hannah did not go, go. explaining Explaining to her husband, husband, once the child child is weaned, weaned, I will take take him him to appear appear before the Lord and to remain there forever. I will will offer offer him him as a perpetual perpetual Nazarene. Nazarene. Once Once Samuel Samuel was weaned, weaned, Hannah Hannah brought him up with her, her, along along with a three-year-old bull, bull, and an an ephah of flour, flour, and a skin skin of wine, wine, and presented presented him him at the the temple temple of the Lord in Shiloh. Shiloh. After After the boy's boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah his mother mother approached approached Eli Eli and said, Pardon, Pardon, my Lord, as you live, live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the the Lord. Lord. Hannah Hannah left left Samuel Samuel there. there. The The word word of of the Lord. Lord.
The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. And so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Beloved, if our hearts do not condone us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents didn't know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they, but they did not, did not understand, understand what he said, said to them. them. He went, he went down, down with them and came to Nazareth and was, and was obedient, obedient to them. them. And, and his, his mother, mother kept, kept all these things, things in her heart. heart. 
and Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Son, why have you done this to us? Mary rebuked young Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Family also had difficult moments, difficult times. Since the very beginning, because let's remember when Mary and Joseph were just married, Joseph planned to divorce her when he found out that she was pregnant. And then the angel came and he changed his mind finally. But it was a troubled moment. Then when, uh, when Jesus uh, was born, he was born in the most uncomfortable conditions. There was not a place for them in, in the inn. Uh, he was born in a manger. In the most difficult conditions is how Jesus was born. They had to flee to Egypt. They were refugees in Egypt, trying to escape Herod shortly after Jesus was born. And also the early death of Joseph. The last thing that we know about Joseph is when Jesus was 12, according to this reading. After that, we, know, we don't know anything about Joseph. We know that when Jesus was baptized at age 30, Joseph was not, was not part of the family. He had died already. We don't know exactly at what time, but it was an early death. So those are very difficult moments. And in today's reading, a very stressful moment when Jesus is lost in Jerusalem. Losing a, 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 a son a, or a, a child at an early age is a very difficult moment for, for uh, the parents, for mothers especially. It's very stressful. The sorrow is huge. And I know this firsthand because I got lost myself when I was a child. I was not 12, I was 5. It happened that, well, my family is originally from Monterrey, Mexico, and every year we used to come to San Antonio for shopping. So here we come. Uh, it's a big family. I had 14 siblings. Uh, so not all of them came at the same time. Uh, maybe half of the family came to San Antonio that time. And my mother took me and four of my other siblings to a shoe store to buy shoes for us. Uh, uh, so, so we went there, there we, we chose what we wanted, wanted. And, and I got, I got distracted, distracted inside the store for some time. And uh, so, my so my mother paid, paid. And, and with my, my other four siblings, four siblings, she left she the store. store. I, was I was staying behind. behind. But, but I was I distracted, was distracted thinking another thing. So, so then when I realized that they were not there, I looked for them in the whole store, and nothing. They were, they were gone. gone. So then what, what I, did I did was, was I left the left store and then took, took, I don't know if left, left or right, but somewhere, somewhere got, got to the, to the corner, corner, and as and uh, we had we been instructed, instructed by our parents, parents not, not to cross the street by ourselves, by ourselves that, that that was the farthest I could reach, the corner. And then they just started, I just started crying. I felt helpless. I don't remember how long I was there, but uh, then here they come, these two police officers in his uh, uh, police car. They saw me, so they pulled over, and they started talking to me, but in English. So I didn't understand a thing. But I knew that police officers were good, that they were there to help people. So I felt some hope on them. So, so what they, they did was, was to put me in the, in the uh, back, back uh, seat, seat of the car. Of the car. So I can I say that, that uh, I, knew I knew the back seat of a, a, a police, police car at age five. five. <laughs> so, so I was, I was there, there 
kind of some of the anxiety, but not so much. I, I felt protected anyway. But then luckily, here is, uh, they come. Two of my oldest brothers were coming, and they saw me. Is that Jorge? Yeah, it's him. What did he do to, to be there? So then so they, they started, started, they were 13, 14, 14. They, started they started talking to, to, to the officers, officers. Uh, they, uh, they could communicate, communicate with them. With them. So, so they said, okay, okay. Uh, you two you go, go inside, inside the car. The car. <laughs> we will look we will for you, for, for your parents. parents. So, so I, I felt completely, completely relaxed, relaxed now. now. I said, so okay, okay, I'm fine, I'm, I'm safe. safe. Uh, yeah, I will see my parents again. I felt relaxed. But the whole, but the whole deal, deal lasted several hours. hours. It, was it was from mid-morning to late afternoon, afternoon. when finally, when finally we, got we got reunited. reunited. So I felt, I felt safe, safe, but at but that, that moment, moment during, during all this, all this time, time, my parents, parents same, same as Joseph, Joseph and Mary, Mary were, were suffering, suffering big anxiety. anxiety. Very, Very stressful, stressful moment, moment because, because they, they didn't, didn't know, know if they will see their sons, their, their, their son again. They didn't know because they were taught. So I can understand that uh, stressful moment, which is one that happened also in the, in, in the Holy Family. And uh, Jesus and Mary also had to discover who Jesus really was. Little, little by little. By little. Because, because when the angel Gabriel came to, to Mary during the Annunciation, he said to Mary, your son will be great, and he will be called the son of the Most High. He will be given the throne of David, and he will rule over the whole house of Jacob, and his kingdom will have no end. That's what Mary was told. But what, what did she understand, understand from there? there? Did she did understand, understand that he was going to be like an like earthly kingdom? kingdom? Because, because he was going to be given the throne of, of David, David, and David was an was earthly, earthly king. king. And, and his, his uh, kingdom, kingdom will have, have no end. end. So well, maybe well, a dynasty. dynasty. He's going to start, start a dynasty. dynasty. Probably. Probably. Let's, remember Let's remember that they, they were, were occupied, occupied by the Romans at that time. What was exactly what Mary understood for bearing the Son of God? And let's see the answer that uh, Jesus gave them. Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I must be in my Father's house? They didn't understand that. My Father's house? So they didn't understand understand that Jesus at early age was going to be able to perfectly understand his mission, perfectly aware that his heavenly father would have a direct communication with his heavenly father. That's why they didn't understand. But Mary, according to the scripture, Mary was keeping all these things in her heart to be understood later. Brothers and sisters, we don't have perfect families. We are not perfect parents. The person we marry to is not perfect. We ourselves are not perfect. We don't have perfect children. There's no perfect family. If the Holy Family had problems, what can we expect from our family? Also, also difficult, difficult moments. moments. In, in our, our families, families, of course, course we, argue. we argue. We are rude, rude sometimes. sometimes. Uh, uh, we, we distrust, distrust each other, each other sometimes. sometimes. We, we offend, offend each other, each other sometimes. sometimes. Well, there is there no is perfect. perfect. But, but every, every family, family is blessed, is blessed and, loved and loved by our, by our Heavenly, Heavenly Father. Father. Every, Every family. family. Every family, family has that hope, hope that is loved by our Heavenly, Heavenly Father. 
could teach us how to love. So the best family is not the one that argues the least. It's the one that loves the most. That love that is taught by God, by the Lord. That generous love that makes us withstand everything and forgive everything. The key for a holy family to have a holy family is love. Love that comes from God to be shared within the family. In this feast of the Holy Family, let's pray for our families. Let's pray for the families of the whole world, especially for those who are struggling with conflict, with resentment, with remorse, and feel hopeless. Let's pray that they may feel the love of God and find peace and harmony. Amen. Amen. Let us stand together for the profession of our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God and true God, begotten of me, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as a family enlightened by the coming of Christ our Savior, let us turn to our Creator in prayer. That the many ministries of the Church may strengthen family life throughout, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers that governments and world leaders honor the dignity of life of families and put into practice laws that respect life and protect their well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all families, that they may grow in their love for each other and be signs of God's unconditional love to each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For family members who are in conflict, estranged or going through divorce, that God's love will heal their hearts and dissolve pride, so they may share the joy of fellowship and love again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our parish community of St. Luke may share God's love and mercy with anyone building up the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have asked for our prayers, for those whose names are written in our prayer request book, for our RCIA catechumens and candidates, and for those who have died recently, Sister Veronica Dobson, may God grant them everlasting joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special intentions of this Mass, for the repulsed souls of Joe Del Prado, William T. and William Randolph Bella, and for my uncle Milo. 
May they rest, rest in peace, in peace we, pray we pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord hear our and for our own intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And now on this, select this feast day of the Holy Family, I invite you to pull out your prayer cards to the Holy Family. And in the middle, where it prays to the Holy Family together, let us pray. Holy Family, we consecrate ourselves and our family to you. May we be completely united in a love that is lasting, faithful, and open to the gift of new life. Help us to grow in virtue, to forgive one another from our hearts, and to live in peace all our days. Keep us strong in faith, persevering in prayer, diligent in work, and generous towards those in need. May our home, O Holy Family, truly become a domestic church where we reflect your example in our daily life. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, pray for us. Father, we thank you for the gift of life and family. Answer all of our prayers and bring all people into your family grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercessions of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so as angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wonders, resurrection, and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nurtured by the body and blood of, this, of your Son, Jesus Christ, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you 
so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Joseph, Saint Luke, and all the saints on whose constant intercessions in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleading to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and wisdom and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We stand together with faith and confidence in eternal life. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Just a reminder, if you have hand sanitizer, it's a good time to sanitize your hands before you come forward for communion. For those who are not receiving, we still invite you to come forward for a blessing by simply putting your arms across your chest. Once again, thank you for your patience and your participation during this time of the pandemic. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. pray this act of spiritual communion for our brothers and sisters who are not able to join us. And we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Please be seated just for a short announcement. We do have a second collection today. And the second collection today is for the uh, maintenance fund. We want to thank you for your con contributions and support for the maintenance of our buildings and our church. We also want to thank the Knights of Columbus for providing the Holy Family prayer cards and a wonderful prayer. I want to encourage all the families to take it home and pray for those who couldn't join us today for that beautiful consecration uh, to the Holy Family. We have uh, New Year's Eve. We will be celebrating the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, with a bilingual uh, vigil mass at 5 p.m. on Friday, and then December the 31st on New Year's Eve at 12 p.m. noon. And then uh, January, and that's on Saturday, January the 1st. This year, the Solemnity is not a holy day of obligation. So I want to repeat that because people think that Father Eric is making that decision himself or, or our Archbishop is, and this is something that's, that's passed on from canon law uh, from the USCCB. And if a holy day falls on a Saturday or on a Monday, Sunday trumps it, except for Christmas. Right? right, that's Christmas, that's Christmas uh, day uh, fell on a Saturday. Saturday. And so Saturday, Saturday that trumped, that trumped uh, all, all other, other days, days, even the even Sunday, Sunday mass. mass. But, but, uh, but this, this is not, this is a, not a solemnity, this is a feast day, day of the Holy the Family, family. I, mean, I mean, of the solemnity of the Virgin Mary, 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 Mary Mother, Mother of God. God. So, so once again, again this, is, uh, uh, this is not a, a holy, holy day of obligation, obligation but for those who would like, like to begin the new year, year I think the wonderful day is to come to church at 5 o'clock, and, and then you can go to celebrate your New Year's Eve celebration, celebration with your family or friends. Or friends. So once again, once again that's, that's uh, 5, 5 p.m., and if you don't want to make the 5 p.m., and still come celebrate that, that feast day of the of Virgin Mary, we'll be having a Mass at 12 noon. Our parish office is closed tomorrow. Uh, due, uh, to due to the Christmas, Christmas holidays, holidays and, and also, also, I believe, on, on that on Friday. Friday. On behalf of myself, myself Father, Father Eric, the, uh, uh, and also, also Father, Father Danny, Danny, we want to wish everybody, wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, happy new, year. new Year. We have, we have our have chalice, chalice program that goes, goes to Robert, Robert and, and uh, uh, Claria Gray. Gray. Mr. Mr. Gray, are they here? They're, they're our lectors. Okay, come on forward. As they're coming forward, I'm going to invite everybody to open your book. Your hymnal notes, notes to, to the last page, page to the chalice, chalice and, together, and together, let us let pray. pray. God, God in baptism, in baptism you, called you called us by us name and made us made members, members of your people, people the church. church. Guide, Guide us to know our, our vocation, vocation in life and to respond by living your spirit of holiness for your greater glory and for the service of your people. Raise up dedicated and generous members Grow the lives as women and men, religious, priests, deacons, married or single. Send your spirit to guide and strengthen us so that we may serve your people, following the example of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we offer this prayer. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause. Amen. If you want to carry that for them, you can get that kit. We'll carry it for you. I think we got a couple of future priests in that group there. We always like to uh, recognize visitors from out of town or anyone here for the very first time to please stand and be recognized if we have any visitors. I know I, I have some friends from Selma all the way from OLPH in the back. Can you all stand up and say hello to everybody? There they are. They're in the back. Thank you guys for joining. Gedmo, Gedmo and his family.
Do we have anybody celebrating birthdays, anniversaries today, or any time this week or last week? We got a birthday boy up here, a birthday girl. Any of our birthdays or another birthday up here? He's celebrating his birthday. Another birthday, no anniversaries. Let's extend our hands upon our birthdays and give them our blessings. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks and praise for the gift of life and the gift of our brothers and sisters celebrating their birthdays. Lord, send down your spirit upon them as we celebrate this feast day of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Send your spirit upon them to bless them, guide them, protect them, and lead them always towards your eternal kingdom. May the spirit of God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks.